and today I'm in Costa Rica exploring and discovering the secrets to the surface of our planet. Imagine a huge pan of bubbling boiling water. Now imagine floating on top several chunks of bread. Some thick, some thin, some large, some small. All different shapes and sizes. As these chunks of bread float they naturally slowly move around as well. The exact same thing happens on planet Earth. It can be hard to imagine, but the surface of our planet is actually made up of different sized slabs of rock known as tectonic plates. These plates float on top of extremely hot semi-molten iron, otherwise known as magma. Within the magma, there are heat waves known as convectional currents, and that's exactly what keeps our plates moving and floating on top of our planet, just like our bubbling pan of boiling water. Overall, there are 52 tectonic plates floating on Earth's surface. They all join together like a huge jigsaw puzzle to create the Earth's crust, of which we have two types, oceanic crust and continental crust. Clearly, the oceanic crust is where you can find seas and the continental crust is where there is land. The continental crust is a lot older, with some parts nearly 1,500 million years old. That's a lot of Christmases. It's also unsinkable because it is less dense than the oceanic crust. Now, as I said earlier, plates like to move around. But there isn't that much space on the surface of our planet for plates to do this. Therefore, there are many battles for space. Where two plates meet and battle commences, we call them plate margins. These are where earthquakes occur, but most importantly, where we can find volcanoes. Here in Costa Rica, we're straddling the margin between the Cocos Plate and the Caribbean Plate. The Cocos Plate is made of oceanic crust and the Caribbean Plate is made of continental crust. Now, let's imagine Mr. Caribbean as Superman and Mr. Cocos as an arch enemy who isn't as old and strong. Unfortunately, Mr. Cocos is forced and crushed underneath the strength and weight of Mr. Caribbean each time. Where an oceanic crust plate is forced under a less dense continental plate, we call this a destructive margin or subduction zone. The whole of Central America, including Costa Rica, is within a subduction zone. There are many different kinds of volcanoes. Composite volcanoes, pretty much the most dangerous ones, are the ones we find at destructive margins. As geological time is super, super, super slow, it takes many millions of years for volcanoes to form. But once battle has commenced between both plates, we eventually go from a landscape like this one <laughs> to one like this. The Arazi volcano is a clear example of a composite volcano on a destructive margin. This volcano even earned the name the Highway from Hell due to an explosive eruption that lasted two whole years back in the 60s. I just wanted to quickly show you in the distance. That's a geothermal electricity plant. So instead of using gas or unrenewable energy sources, the locals here use renewable geothermal energy um, for their electricity. I've been walking for hours and hours. Absolutely knackered. Right. I think this is it for Costa Rica. Join me in my next video where I will be in Nicaragua exploring the life of a volcano from birth to death. Hello, 
my lovely Lady Rock followers. Today I am in Manuel Antonio National Park in Costa Rica and I've just started hiking and it's really exhausting. Oh my god, I just saw a raccoon. It was super cool just meandering through the forest as you do. Oh my lord. Oh. oh, there's something over there. I don't know what it is, but we'll have to find out. I hope it's a sloth. Beautiful fumarole. Someone could say something. There's a sign that's saying dangerous, do not enter. But the sign is inside the fumarole. <laughs> I'm just going to show you these crabs. They're super creepy. But they're kind of cool as well. Look at this crab here. Look at them! <laughs> They're super funny. They're the stained bolts of crabs. <laughs> wow. Hello again. <laughs> I'm now on the beach. And there's an iguana over here, so I'm going to come and say hello to the iguana and introduce you guys as well. He's quite a large little beast, actually. Can I get close to him? Oh, where is he? Oh, here. Do you think he's angry? You want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried he's going to come and get me. Yeah. I'll just kind of let you guys see him. There he is, there's the iguana. <laughs> Hey. He do Maybe you want to lay down right there? Lay down next to him? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's a bit too close for comfort, I think. <laughs> wow. Nice. Oh my god, a sweaty Betty. Oh my, look at that. Amazing. This is a great place. Nice Ooh, what's the butterfly? Oh, the butterfly. Oh, man. Oh, it's too fast. He's too fast for me. Oh, there we go. Cool. Look at him go. So beautiful. So much for geology. <laughs> I'm spending most of my time talking about the nature. <laughs> oh, wow, those crabs. Uh -huh. What's the crab? Move. <laughs> look at that one. Oh, look at its butt. Oh, that's really gross. <laughs> that's not as cool as a sloth. Oh, wow. When I came here, like, this is the place where I like to Oh, definitely. Yeah, I can see why. Apart from those two-ish. <laughs> and these ones here. Yeah. Yeah, but here nobody Amazing. I'm so happy to be here. Look at that amazing view. Wow. Oh. I feel like I'm on the beach or as in the film. Obviously I'm on the beach. <laughs> oh my god. All these hours to get here and it's totally worth it. Wow. 
pura vida.